All right, you guys, this will be my, technically this will be my 24th YouTube video. Wait, or my 23rd, wait, okay. So technically this will be my 23rd YouTube video. Um, if you're reading this title, you already know what we're gonna get into, okay? But um, I'm just getting back, kind of, sort of, I showered, etc. Um, just getting back from DC. Um, and listen, I'm not going to be the YouTuber that, I don't think I'm going to be the YouTuber that, you know, gives all their business or puts all their business out there, but... Long story short, I went out to DC and me and my friend, we kind of fell off. Um, our energy, our vibes just weren't matching. Um, whatever, they're not here to tell their side of the story. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. However, I just have to like, I probably just, I'm, I'm someone who just needs to be alone. <sighs> I just need to be alone. It's like I don't always want to be alone like but I'm happier I'm happiest alone but it's like sometimes I don't want to be alone but it's it's just easier that way you know back to the actual video okay now you guys Byredo has done it yet again so I was in Neiman Marcus I'm just gonna say this. I couldn't enjoy myself. I'm calling my friend. I'm like, where are you? They're like, uh, I I'm around. Uh, I guess they felt insecure or uncomfortable being around the type of people that are usually within that department store. And it threw my, it kind of threw my mood off. Cause I'm like, hey, like don't, I was in Neiman Marcus, all right? And uh, I'm a Byredo kind of guy. I don't really purchase uh, a bunch of fragrances. If I'm gonna spend a lot of money on a fragrance, it will be Byredo. The De Los Santos, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Whatever, before we get into this guy, <laughs> my all-time favorite. So this was like the first fragrance that I, I purchased. I was in New York 2015, and I believe I walked into Barney's, and um, I just happened to walk around, ended up picking or smelling this fragrance, and had to buy it. Um, this is, for me, especially for a guy, Mojave Ghost is a perfect like vacation. So if you're vacationing and you're in a big city or if you're at the beach, that's like, that's this is my go-to, Mojave Ghost every time. Beautiful scent, beautiful, 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 okay? But I'm in the market for more of an everyday scent. Okay. Uh, <sighs> this guy right here, man. Okay, so it's similar to Mojave Ghost where it has like this really unique but subtle. This is this is subtle. It's it's strong enough, but it's also it's not too loud, right? Man, 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 man. This, I feel like this scent is good for every day, no matter night or day, no matter what the occasion is, um, spring, winter, summer, fall. This is like a beautiful scent. Um, so listen. 
So I was in the store, right? And uh, I have Mojave Ghost in a 50 ml, right? I've had this fragrance since 2015, right? And I still have quite a bit left. Um, it's nearing the end, um, but I've had this for so long. Um, obviously you can tell by the, uh, <laughs> the unraveling of the paper. Um, but I've taken it with me traveling. Um, it's been all over the place with me. Let me straighten you guys up. So when, when I went back today, I knew I didn't want anything bigger. I didn't want anything larger. Um, just because I've had this for a while, but also I wasn't wearing this as an everyday. So when I was checking this scent out, they didn't have a 50 ml. Uh, this is the 3.3 fluid ounce. They didn't have anything smaller in the store. Um, and I didn't mind just because I, I will definitely be wearing this as more of an everyday scent. Um, so I was cool with that. I was cool with the price, man, but the scent, It's like earthy, musk, but also like a little bit of like floral, but not like, not, ah, I can't explain it. I think this is a really good unisex fragrance. Uh, so I was checking out the other scents. Uh, I can't remember the name off the top of, I think it's Cellar. I, I was going to purchase that one, but it's something about this one. It took it home for me. So I'm gonna be rocking that scent for a while. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Listen, I am not, I'm not like an expert. So do not come at me in these comments, okay? I'm just sharing with you guys what I purchased. Um. And I also picked up this uh, picture frame from Ikea. So my ex-best friend, um, her daughter drew me a picture. So I want to put it in this frame. Um, I have to find the picture first. I think I know where it is. tricky um ikea you guys can make that a little bit easier for your customers okay. oh it's too big no i knew i should have got the bigger one i'm gonna have to like fold this i don't want to cut it uh let's see she also made me this bracelet so i'm just gonna like put that in the back of the frame and seal it in there. I was like, you think you have something a little bit more unisex, but these are the colors she chose. So it's just like, we'll go with it. <laughs> All right. I like it. It's cute. Um, now I just have to find somewhere to put it. Um, so I could set this at my workstation, which I like that a lot, but I won't be able to see it if 
or when I open my laptop. And I don't think I want it there. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. Excuse the room, I don't want to hear it. All right, so it could go here, but then it hides Alexa, and I don't think I like that. I could rearrange, I'll probably just rearrange something over here, or, Also go in the bathroom. It could go here in the bathroom, but I want to look at it more. I don't know. I'll figure something out. All right, so it's been a couple of days since the last time uh, I checked in. Um, so let me show you guys where I decided to place the picture frame. All right, so I ended up sticking my router behind the mirror. Um, we have the Amazon Echo, I think that's it. And I decided to put my picture frame here. <laughs> And uh, I have to figure out where to place this book. But uh, yeah, there it is. You guys know I don't make up my bid. Um, but it looks like a room nail, so that's it. That's the look. So I'm in Whole Foods and look at what they have. The best coconut oil ever. Okay, so we're back from the store and uh, I do have to go back to work in a few. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to juice some fruit and vegetables, got some mint. looks just like all right so I accidentally like cut through the peach but this looks just like a this looks just like an almond
Okay, so it's much later in the day. We're gonna try this juice out. Very refreshing, that's good. Have you ever had an argument with someone in the car, but you're the only one arguing? Do you ever feel like an absolute clown afterwards? All right. I am headed to the coffee shop so that I can edit this vlog and uh i don't know what i'm doing oh of course i'm working later but uh other than that i don't know what i'm doing i need gas i gotta buy food i actually have a lot to do today before i start work so let's go to the coffee shop